Hello, it's Mike Levin, and welcome to Preparing for Mobile Get In Coding with Mike, Episode 1, because I'm sure it's going to take more than one installment. It's got to start with a crawl because you can't simply check against a single URL. So I'm going to start with making this crawl function. Here we have this. And that's my daily journal. And I need my pipulate coding window here. And I brought up the functions.py file. And I thought I'd start right there. I think traditionally now I'm getting my habits formed. I am not going to um, start above walk dict. I always want to remind myself I have that there. So I'm going to start with here. Def crawl. Open close. Colon. And we'll return hello. Save. Go back to our spreadsheet. Bring up pipulate. Log in. Accept. Pipulate. What takes the place of the question mark? Ah, this is the first time I've run Pipulate in this spreadsheet. So it creates the Docs tab, the Config tab, and the next one will be the Scrapers tab. And now it gets to Pipulating. And it didn't return anything, did it? Let's see what's wrong there. Crawl. I made a function called, oh, it's, it has to return. How many of you out there were yelling, oh my goodness, what are you doing? But it did run, which is an interesting thing. A string on its own in Python is not a syntax error or else this window would have gone away. Much more like it. That is essentially the hello world program again, but I have the crawl function in place and that stands as our starting point. I pause. Okay, I am sitting here looking at the insert rows that I want to call at this point, along with Dorothy here, and we can see that there's a certain global context that needs to exist for access to a G-spread sheet object, which doesn't exist in the way these plugin functions are being executed. So I need to look at some technique for slipping a worksheet object into the crawl function from a sort of global context. So the issue is, is that this insert rows uses uh, one sheet as a parameter which represents a gdata or gspread worksheet object. Um, and that's not really available where the, fun where the user functions are being called from. Uh, the, it's just not in context here, or even if it is in context, I would have to find a way to slip it in on the parameter here. Um, when it's built, when the call to this function is built, and that's too much uh, code. And to go around it, I'm actually going to bring it in from a global object, globs.sheet, which, oops, you can see I added here, uh, sheet equals empty, and then all my um, modules actually have import globs up at the top so that I know it's available. And so here I'm just uh, creating that object from a global worksheet object representing tab one, not doing anything with it and just going ahead and returning hello. And here we have pipulate running, I have the question mark filled in, and I have the debug um, console here so that I can see anything 
uh, for my debug messages running in the background uh, if anything went wrong. And so if that question mark gets replaced with hello, uh, it will be one of those success assured moments because I know I have a global object now that I can use to call insert rows and insert a row for every ahref link found on the site that I'm going to be crawling. So that's installment one uh, of a uh, of this mobile get in uh, coding day. Uh, join me again for episode two where I'll actually do uh, the one page crawl and set the stage for further functions that will actually check whether the pages are mobile ready friendly. Thanks for joining me. Talk to you soon and don't forget to subscribe.